Alright guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and welcome back to my channel. Today we want to discuss about part 3, extended writing and today we want to focus about story. Alright, I don't want to waste time, now let's we discuss the questions. Alright, your teacher has asked you to write a story for a school magazine. The story must have the title, A Dream Comes True. Alright, A Dream Comes True. And then your story should include a description of the dream, how the dream is achieved. All right, now write your story. All right, that is your teacher asks you to write a story for a school ma magazine. Okay, tulis satu cerita. All right, tentang mimpi jadi kenyataan. Kepada siapa? School magazine. And don't forget to write a title. Alright, maknanya bila dikata you must have a title Mesti dalam essay kamu nanti Perkara yang pertama yang kamu kena buat ialah Tulis tajuk A dream come true Alright Now This is our objectives today At the end of the lesson Students should be able to construct sentences Using past tense Because we want to write a story And then write an essay in 5 para paragraphs and I hope that you can describe and explain about a dream comes true. Alright guys, as usual, right? As usual, if we talk about uh, essay, right? Don't forget about 5W1H, right? This one is you can make uh, what we call it as a uh, refer, right? You want to ref uh, referring Alright, you want to referring or you want to make uh, an essay Okay, nak buat essay, kita kena ada draft We need to have a, a draft For example, here we should ask ourselves during uh, We write an essay For example, here who, siapa, what, apa, where, di mana When, bila, why, kenapa Alright, of course, if you talk about who, siapa, subject here Right, you, I Okay, because of this is you want to describe about you okay what happened okay what happened all right this is what what happened for example where to the manner maybe a place all right when when your dream is achieved all right why it is happened all right because we will talk about dream all right how did someone respond okay how did someone rest respond how bagaima bagaimana all right guys this is the element of the stories. There were several elements, the stories here. For example, we have a plot here. We have an introduction, rising action, climax, falling action, resolution. Introduction, kita nak memperkenalkan cerita. Rising action, maknanya kat tengah-tengah cerita itu. Climax itu maknanya sudah ada satu situasi, alright, yang menyebabkan kita rasa, yes, this is the best emotion about the scene. And then falling action itu maknanya kita dah nak selesaikan and of course the res resolution ataupun ending of the story we should have it all right introduction of course we introduce the characters and setting and then rising action where the character face a series of conflict all right maknanya dia berjumpa dengan konflik yang bagaimana ketika rising action itu okay and then the climax here yang kat tengah-tengah tu point of highest emotion and tension or tension and turning point okay turning point about the conflict Right, macam mana krisis tu berlaku? Eh, kalau gaduhnya macam mana? Alright, kalau berusahanya bagaimana about to achieve the dream? Alright, resolution of characteristic crisis. Alright, for action macam mana kita as a character in the story? Alright, kita nak cari satu jalan penyelesaian. Okay, tentang krisis krisis yang ada bila kita nak capai impian. And then the last one, how the character solve the problem okay macam mana kita last kali kita nak cerita okay the dream come true comes true eh macam mana kita nak selesaikan uh, orang kata cerita-cerita kita itu akhirnya tercapai dengan cara ini itu dan sebagainya alright guys let's we analyze the questions okay a dream come true okay mimpi atau impian atau cita-cita menjadi nyata Alright, what you need to do? A description of the dream. Alright, the first of all, what is your dream? Apa cita-cita kamu? Okay, when is it done? Eh, bila dia selesai? Who help you achieve it? Siapa yang menolong kamu? Atau karakter lain yang ada yang menolong kamu dalam cerita kamu untuk mencapai 
cerita-cerita kamu where it is done ok, di manakah bermulanya cerita kamu ok, from the school tuition classes support moral at home alright, maybe you have a place for you to study alright behind the seaside tepi laut boleh baca baca-baca atau mencari ketenangan alright ok, why do it alright, why we need to achieve our dream kenapa kita nak uh, orang kata nak mencapai cita-cita itu ok maybe why here kenapa di sini ok maybe from the starting from our first lesson alright during our exam to get the best uh, grade and then after that you uh, have a conflict with the lesson that you don't understand uh, kita ada, ada masalah dengan uh, conflict of the lesson yang kita tak faham and then maybe you have conflict with friends and teachers Right, kita ada konflik yang kita boleh ceritakan we can describe alright how why okay why here kenapa kenapa kita nak capai cerita itu because according to the conflict dengan konflik-konflik yang ada ini right kita berjaya kita inspire ourselves to achieve the to achieve the dream alright this is the 5w questions here for example right maybe this is a, a brainstorm here brainstorming here okay what for example you want to be an engineer Alright, of course, when after finish your examination. Alright, for example, as a Malaysian, we have a SPM, we have a STPM, we have we have a diploma, alright? And then where here complete it at university, alright? Who, maybe we have a university or college, eh? Who here, of course, you should have uh, some someone, alright? My friends and I, my parents, my teachers, alright? Okay, why we want to, as I said that, why we want to drift the, uh, the dream. Okay, for example, a lot of fun, love to fix machine, okay, as an engineer, get a big salary, dapat gaji tinggi, chance to travel the world, okay. Maknanya kita mempunyai peluang dengan kita, uh, bila a dream come true tadi, okay, a dream come true tu, kita dapat uh, menjadi seorang engineer dan kita dapat chance to travel the the world. Alright, guys, how the dream is achieved? Of course, the first one we should set the goals as an engineer. Kita kena set satu goals yang kita nak jadi engineer. Find out your role model. Maybe kita boleh cari orang yang boleh kita jadikan sebagai inspire people. Okay, yang kita nak follow dia supaya kita mencapai cita-cita. Arrange your time to your passion. Okay, kita nak arrange time. Right, do a timetable. Okay, to achieve our our dream. Okay, talk to the people who has same passion. Okay, kita bercakap dengan orang yang okay. My friends also want to be an engineer. Okay, from from there I talk to him. Kita bercakap dengan dia. Okay, sebab apa? Sebab dia pun nak jadi NG engineer. And the last one, we should study smart and work hard for it. Work hard here. Uh, if you have a problem, right? You should struggle. Maybe you have some questions. Eh, for example, mathematics and science, or biology, chemistry, okay, or physics. Okay, of course, you want to be an engineer. We should have a good marks for physics and the engineer and English also, right? Because we know that nowadays the books most write in English version, right, guys? Now we discuss a step on how to write an essay about a dream come true. Maybe this one is arrangement for you. Alright, maybe for the introduction, you can describe about the general, about the dream, okay? We give a definition of the dream, okay? We tell about our dream. And then point of view here, we describe the, a big view about our dream, okay? And then we describe about how you achieve the dream. Macam mana kita, kita terangkan tentang kita nak mencapai cita-cita, okay? The ways to achieve and step by step, alright? Uh, kita nak cerita step 1, step 2, step 3 and after that we achieve the dream and then as a conclusion of course we need to summarize the point of view alright, maybe you can write about your hope, eh? your hope according to your your dream alright ok guys, this is the idioms that I can share to you for example here, a clean slate here, yeah? ok, to forget about the past problems maybe if you have any failure before, okay, you struggle to be a 
engineer you can use this one as your idioms and the second one is blood sweat and tears all right extremely hard work this is we can hard work sorry we can use it all right these two of the idioms that you can try to put in your essay and to make it more uh, what we call it as um, more interesting and then the examiner or the readers will aspire with your essay all right because this one is the category of the bombastic uh, yeah and then this the best element to get the higher marks okay ini adalah elemen yang antara elemen yang terbaik untuk kita dapat markah yang tinggi dalam essay nanti eh uh, why i say like this okay as usual because we know that essay we have a marks ya yeah? kita ada markah dan untuk dapat yang lebih baik kita mesti tonjolkan yang lain daripada yang lain mungkin my, our friends don't have idioms but we have uh, idioms eh alright ok guys now alright that's all for today thank you for listening any questions just drop it in the comment side do an essay all the best if you have anything to uh, un, uh, if you have uh, questions ok you can just write in the comment side and don't forget to like okay and the last one okay thanks for listening again and don't forget to subscribe my channel for the next video assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye